Hiya YouTube and welcome to a video by the Unlucky Lads. This will detail the raid intel skips on both critical and regular for the raid starting on the 16th of November running through to the 22nd of November which is Project Titan week 104. First up I'd like to say thanks to everyone who has subscribed and liked our videos. Your support has pushed us over 200 subscribers which is incredible so a massive thank you to all of you. And as a special treat for this milestone, we'll be releasing an extra video this week, which I think you'll all want to see, so keep an eye out for that. But for now, please continue to like and subscribe because your support really does motivate us to make these early raid intel videos, which allows you to quickly complete the raid as soon as it's released. Starting with critical, the modifiers this week will be One Gun, Friendly Fire, and Limited Health Regem. And using the intel skips you can begin by destroying four panels at satellite dish. This will open up the circle for Bao at the chemical refinery and beating him will allow you to head into sector 2. Gargoyle requires three intels at testing zone before you can interrogate the smoker at forgotten sanctuary. Now head back to testing zone and input the password into the node so you can fight Gargoyle there. For supercomputer you just need to destroy four panels, three of which are at Salamander and the other one is at a checkpoint nearby. You can then fight Quantum at the building in the sea. With both Titans defeated in Sector 2, you can advance into Sector 3. Cerberus requires two intels from Scandium Mine. Then you have to defend the node at Red Phoenix before heading to No Man's Land to destroy the three panels there. Doing all of that will give you access to the final raid boss battle at the top of Lava Shield, where you can complete the critical raid. In summary, the modifiers are definitely an annoying mix this week, because one gun can be tough on its own, and then friendly fire and limited health regen will probably mean you need more syringes than normal. As for the intel trail, it's fairly long across all three sectors, although the task required could be done much quicker if you have a good team that's willing to split up. But as always, if you have any problems, please comment below and we'll try to help out so you can finish the raid and earn those rewards. Moving on to regular, there are no modifiers, and it does just use last week's critical intel. So start by pressing the four nodes at Ancient Harbour. This will give you access to Bow at the chemical refinery, and beating him will allow you to head into Sector 2. Gargoyle requires two intels at Forgotten Sanctuary, plus a further one intel at Missile Site Ruins. Then you can interrogate the guy on the roof at Camp Phoenix, before inputting the password he gives you into the node at Testing Zone, where you can also fight Gargoyle. For supercomputer, you just need to hack and defend the node at Salamander, then you can fight Quantum at the building in the sea. With both bosses in Sector 2 beaten, you can move into Sector 3. Cerberus needs two intels at Red Phoenix, and a further two intels at Scandium Mine, one using your drone in B2, and the other as a pickup. Next, you need to destroy the three panels at Prototype Workshop, before finally putting four hands on nodes at No Man's Land. This will give you access to Cerberus at the top of Lava Shield, where you can complete the regular raid. That's all for now. Thanks again to everyone who helped us reach 200 subscribers. Your support really does motivate us to make more content, including the extra video we have planned for this week. So do keep a lookout for that, because we don't think you'll want to miss it. But until next time, please do continue to like and subscribe. Peace out, the unlucky lads.